So, Rich, what do you think the future of MMO design looks like? Because uh, it feels like like ESO is out there. There's Guild Wars 2. There's World of Warcraft and Eve Online. And like in the West, that's that. Those are sort of the big ones that I can be aware of. Like, like how do you think the design changes to further adapt to meet player needs going forward? Well, I think you know, first and foremost is you know, I don't know that you're gonna see kind of the traditional massive, massive, huge games. You know, coming out. You know the the in terms of just scale and size, right? They're really expensive and they're really risky. And so convincing somebody to allow you to, you know, take that risk is, is going to be a challenge, I think, number one. Uh, but outside of that, getting away from the financials, I think, honestly, the big things are going to be how can you better socially connect your players? What are the things that players are doing in-game you know, to work with each other, to build upon each other, you know, to develop those strong social ties? Like those yeah, are that the big ones. That reminds me, I was talking recently with um, uh, John Smedley, who left Daybreak and who now is is doing his own indie game venture. Uh, and we were talking about online game design because he, you know, he was involved with Sony Online, and he, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I spent a lot of time, like worked on EverQuest, EverQuest Two, like had a lot of like studied the way people play massive multiplayer online games. And what he told me was that like, um, and he had been talking to Ralph Coster several years ago too, and they had, they had studied and like graphed out on average how many people you're given a given player would interact with um mm -hmm. course their time with the game and it was never like 2000 it was always like 200 on average like people isn't, they would have conversations with that have meaningful interactions isn't that dumbbar's yeah. number too which is like supposedly the number of people yeah, it's like that a per 50 or 200 relationships yeah. that you can manage at a time yeah yep. yeah and so so his his point to me was that like as as neat as it was to be able to say you can have 2000 people on this server why? Why did? Why do we really need to make games that have two, two like servers that have two thousand people on them? When you really just need two or three hundred to get a very similar experience for a given player. And I'm not sure that I fully agree with that, but I think it's very interesting the idea that, like, in the future you may see uh, a, a tighter focus on social relationships, like social relationships, and also like smaller online spaces. Um, I don't know how we get from here to there. Like, do you do you think that like? Uh, rather than seeing a lot of big MMORPG projects, we're going to see like a proliferation of sort of smaller indie ventures, kind of like little, like little games. Or do you do you see like uh, established players trying to focus in and create smaller, more intimate experiences? I think you're going to see both, honestly. Right? You know, the indie scene is pretty amazing what those guys are doing. You know, even you know just outside of you know the mainstream kind of. You know, this is a big budget. You know, and, well, I guess if they're indie, they're not big budget. But um, you know, looking at what they're doing and with a lot of like the Flash games, you know, and the HTML5 things, you know, there's there's tons of really amazing things that I have seen. Um, you know, some of the indie guys, the smaller guys, do to to bring more of that socialization together. And uh, I think you know, you're gonna see, like I said, a lot more smaller more tightly focused games out there, you know, maybe not necessarily the size of, you know, an ESO or a WoW or, you know, a Tor or a Guild Wars 2, you know, not necessarily as big as those, but you're going to see smaller, smaller, massively, smaller, massively multiplayer games, which sounds funny, but um, smaller multiplayer games, right? Not quite so massive. Um, right. I, I had two thoughts that kind of that your comments made me think of. Um, one was that you have games like Destiny, which are kind of doing what Alex talked about. They're using they're 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 very big and they have a lot of you know the George player base, but the players only have so much social interaction, like at a much mm -hmm. smaller scale that maybe matches what Alex is talking about. You know, like 200 person, X number of people, not even 200 in a given instance of like you know the public areas. But um, the second thing that thought me, um, like I said, um, mo the mobile space, mobile online games are very like. I don't know. They're like they—they they seem like a big part of what you're talking about because, at um, uh, in my experience with the field, they're like you have places where like the server like they don't necessarily focus on trying to get all these people into the same physical space but even like a little lobby where all the characters are hanging out before you and your friends go off on missions um that's a very mm -hmm. common feature in online these online like brawler games which aren't even necessarily yep. like 
like, I don't know, like, some of them, like, uh, some of the ones that I had previously worked with uh, did have more raid-like experiences and looked like other MMOs. Others were, like, puzzle games where people still did similar things. So I think that's, that's, that's a, to build off your observation, the mobile space has certainly reshaped how MMOs work. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've played a bunch of, you know, idle games, yeah. you know, on sites like Congregate and, and Armor Games and places like that, you know, where it's an idle game, but they have guilds and they have chat. And so, like, that's another, you know, there's a social aspect. They get, you know, they're, those guys are understanding that the way you get people to stay and play is develop social ties. So yeah. You're seeing it come everywhere now. It reminds me, Rich, you mentioned you have been making games for a while.